reasons why I changed careers, basically, from being a full-time conductor and pianist to take over the reins at the Yiddish Theater some 15 years ago, was my passion, excitement that I have when I'm able to turn somebody else on in this to this culture. One of the most fascinating things about um, you know, the research that I did for the Golden Land was uh, finding new materials, finding new materials that, that the actual immigrants uh, created. I come from a home where my father, uh, Yasel Matek, was a Yiddish writer. He survived the war in Shanghai, and he spent the war years in Shanghai, and then came here in, in the late 40s. Met my mother, who was American-born, a uh, Yiddish musicologist, still working today. And uh, I, grew, I grew up in this home where Yiddish was a living, breathing, vital entity. They created a newspaper column in the forward where they would invite readers to send in recollections of Yiddish song. So in my home growing up, I would he hear the excitement of my parents when they would get a new song from someplace else in the world. And, uh, I decided to pass it on to my children in response to what it was like being in this country. So um, one of the songs that I found, and I did research in the, uh, in the YIVO Institute at the Center of Jewish History, and we went through stacks and stacks and pages, and most of the music wasn't printed, so it was mostly a manuscript. So I came across one song, and uh, the Yiddish you know, music is written from left to right, and Yiddish and Hebrew, of course, from right to left. So under, so as I'm reading the music, I'm going back and forth with each note to see the Yiddish. So I decided to look under the letter, under the notes, and under the first note I found Tzvei Vavn, which is two Vavs of the Yiddish alphabet, Aleph Tes Shin, and that's spelled Vach. Under the next note I found Yud Aleph Reish, and that's spelled Yor. And on the last note, I found Samach Tes Ayin Pei, and that spelled step. Well, it was like being, so I found Vach Your Step. So it was sort of like being on an archaeological dig, finding this, these riches of this, this culture. I later found out that this was a song written for Bessie Tomaszewski, the grandmother of Michael Tilson Thomas, the, the wife of Boris Tomaszewski. And it was written in 1911, and it basically is a, an anthem to what it was like being on the Lower East Side when thousands, hundreds of thousands of people were just crowded in the Lower East Side streets, Orchard Street, Allen Street, Essex Street, and the song goes like this. Watch your step, schreit mit euch ganz plain. Watch your step, überall kennt ihr das Zen, in der Subway, in der Kahl. Up and down the shop, it's here it's there. 